Hello UK Scrap Addicts fans, it's Karen here and with the lockdown I hope you're getting some time in to do some scrapping. Our theme this month is to use a craft that you do or a hobby in conjunction with your scrapbooking. So one of my hobbies is crocheting. So for this month I've made um, a piece of lace to go across my page, three little flowers and a selection of leaves. The paper range that I'm using is called Amethyst and it's a Kaiser Craft paper range. Um, I bought this as soon as it came out because I liked it so much as purple is my favourite colour but I only have scraps of it left because I've used some of it on a different layout so I'm going to make my layout from the scraps I also have these butterflies which I made for another layout and they're silhouette print and cut so you print them and then your silhouette cuts around the edge so I have some of those I have some die cuts from the collectible range so I have a variety of those and obviously I'm not going to use everything I just like to have a good selection to choose from so those are my um, die cuts card die cuts and I also have um, a selection of butterflies and fussy cut flowers which I cut out for the other layout that I made with this range and as you can see some of them all stuck together because I put them on and then pulled them off again so I have those that are already fussy cut plus I've got the two big sections if I want to use them to fussy cut as well I've got um, some little paper blooms um, I have this piece of vellum that I fussy cut into a butterfly shape um, that's a, a Lisa Jane cut file from Pretty My Page and then I've got the scraps that I've got left so I have this one which obviously has holes where I've cut butterflies out I have this one which has lots of phrases on and I'm hoping to use the phrases and this one with these pretty watercolory flowers on so that is the kit that I'm going to draw from for this month. To start, I've cut this piece of paper to four and a quarter by eleven and three quarters, and this piece of paper three by eleven and three quarters. I'm going to put this one here and this one here. Next I'm going to use some red tape to add my piece of crochet to the bottom.
I decided I wanted some whoops, buttons and so I've chosen three buttons and just tied some floss through and I'm going to stick those onto my flowers. That's that little bit finished. My photo is one that I pinched off my daughter's Instagram account and yesterday was a year until they get married providing all goes well with COVID-19. So that's, I think, I'm going to put that there and I might put another strip of paper or words along there. I wanted to use some of this colour paper but I only had 8 inch strips. That doesn't matter because it will be covered up by the photo, the join wall. I also wanted to use this phrase and I'm thinking that I'll maybe put it down the bottom. So I'm going to put that on there. Maybe, maybe put it on a little bit down. going to add this little frame from the die cuts here to highlight this little phrase. I'm going to pop some foam pads behind it to give it a bit of height. So I think that's how I'm going to add all my embellishments and bits and pieces and I'll just get them stuck down.
think that's probably all I'm going to add to that page. Uh, it's a bit overloaded as it is. So I'm going to call it a day. So um, I've got my crocheted flowers and um, edging. I'll put a link at the bottom of the video as to where I got them from. They were from um, a website called Attic24. She's quite a famous um, crochet lady. I used my Lisa Jane Pretty My Page vellum cut. I've got the um, paper and the die cuts there from a range called Amethyst and that's a Kaiser craft range. I also have these print and cut butterflies that I made for another project and I think that's about it. So that's my finished page and if you come back over the month there will be more process videos from the other talented UK Scrub Addicts design team and you can follow us on our Facebook page and also on our blog. That's me done for this month and I hope you've enjoyed watching me create this page. Bye, stay safe, happy scrapping.